Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the relative strength auto comparison indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the relative strength auto comparison indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 34 different strategies with nine of them being winners. We have also tested a total of 437 indicators with 181 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. All right, so today's indicator is the relative strength auto comparison indicator. And you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. There's not much to this, obviously. Uh, we have two oscillating lines. And what we are going to do is like with most indicators like this is when the faster of the two oscillating lines crosses the slower, either to the downside, we will go short or the upside, we will go long. So let me go in and just make one change here. Let's see. Let's change that one. These colors are really close to each other. So let's go ahead and give us um, maybe like that. Let's bump up these weights just a little bit. Change the colors so that way they stand out just a tad bit more. All right, so when the red line crosses down below the purple line, then we will go short. When it crosses up above the purple line, we will go long. A pretty simple setup. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All right, so we picked up a first signal right here. It was a long signal. Uh, we had a pullback, took place almost immediately, uh, getting really close to the stop, but it was able to stay within that stop and we did get the push back to the upside there, which barely got us to take profit. We then see this uh, move to the downside right here. It was just a little, um, 
just a, a little bitty um, kind of notch there that jumped below for just a moment on that one candle and then immediately back to the upside. So unfortunately, that was a short signal uh, getting us stopped out immediately on the next candle. Uh, and then we enter for a long there and that one almost immediately gets us to take profit as it jumps up there uh, pretty nicely. So let's go ahead and continue on. So then we pick up the short right here. Uh, this one just barely, yep, just barely gets us to take profit on this little red candle right here. And then pretty much um, right after, let's see, 54, not on that one, but on that candle right there, it then gives us a long signal. But then that one's gonna get stopped out uh, pretty quickly as we switch for a short right there so what i'm going to do is go ahead and fast forward the video here that way things will get too long and we will pick this up when we are at the end of the year All right, so that's going to put us at the end of the year right there. Before we add these up, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it will give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, trading philosophy, in general, our admin Jay and regular members post almost everyday market analysis where they put up screenshots of charts where they've marked out areas of support and resistance on multiple different time frames, indicators that they're using, exactly where they're entering trades, exiting trades, taking profits, the whole deal. They're growing small accounts really quickly with the information that they're putting out for everyone to see. And the patrons love being able to follow along with those trades in their own accounts. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of ind indicators that we have tested, shows exactly which ones are winners, which ones are losers and their win rates, as well as an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested, which shows exactly which ones were winners, which ones were losers, their win rates, as well as links to go back and review those videos. And lastly, a new thing that we've been doing is our admin Rob post everyday scanner alerts. These are crypto and Forex scanner alerts. These are his own personal scanners that he uses to be a profitable trader. As he gets alerts uh, to the scanner, he posts them in the patron only channel for all the patrons to see and take advantage of those trading opportunities. So there is a lot of great benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, let's take a look at what we got going on with this indicator here. So a good number of trades that generally is not a good thing. So let's go ahead and count these out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 45 trades all together. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 winners so yeah like most indicators that give us this many trades 
um, it is a losing indicator. It did not meet the 60% criteria. It's what we've seen many, many times before is that with some of these indicators, especially this one, so jerky, so glitchy. Um, every little move, it was just spiking um, over or under that other oscillating line, which was causing it to have a lot of false signals bounce in and out. You can see these clusters of losing trades. So yep that's it for this one it's going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here